Greetings little viewer of the Good Tonight here and today we're doing a review with the camera a bit lower, me looking a bit taller, but most importantly we're talking belt line thing, in particular magazine pouches, the single pistol magazine pouch or SPMP and the or, yeah, DPMP, double pistol magazine pouch, and the single rifle magazine pouch, the SRMP. I'm caffeinated, everything's going well today. So, these ones are made by Haley Strategic. These are generally replacing the STAC magazine pouch I was running for a while, which STAC, pretty good stuff. But I wanted to check out the Haley thing going on here because we got all this crazy elastic nonsense going on. And I want to take a look at the uh, pistol mag pouch just to swap out the Safari Land Model 71 TAC 1. That one being designed more for uh, belts that aren't using Molly. They do also make the 71 TAC 2, which is made for larger belts, which did fit on this but had a bit of a tighter, less forgiving grip on everything. So, in particular here, the rifle magazine pouch is very tight in there using the Haley, was it the D2 whatever insert craziness going on, I always forget the name of it. They used it in the D3 CRM chest rig, but for whatever reason the chest rig was always kind of wonky, probably because it didn't have like elastic on the sides of all the inserts, whereas on this one you got the dual elastic on the sides and it really puts it in there. And it goes in and out with a click, instead of like the higher friction Crydex stuff with, uh, what should we call it, the S-Tac and whatnot. As far as the pistol mag pouches, they do not have an insert, but they do have this cool little uh, rubberized, grippy material. And they also stay open when empty, so you can re-index pretty efficiently. So if we're drawing from our handgun here, we're doing our handgun stuff, and you need to swap mags pretty quick, that stays open, so you can slot that next one in there and pop that one out. Get that guy in there too. Easy, easy, there we go. Lemon squeezy. So that's pretty cool. I do like that about the pistol mic pouch. So the lower one of the rifle mic pouch, like I said, it's got the cool insert in there. This one actually comes in brown. I thought they only came in gray. So the brown's pretty cool change, but that's not all we're here for. So popping the belt off. Ooh boy. All right, so naturally, the mags don't fall on the floor when you shake them upside down, which is something I like from my mag pouches. And Jesus Christ, shot timer, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop. No. No. Okay. You know what? You go hang out over there for a minute. You're ruining my video, brah. So anyway, yeah, as you can see the mag pouch. These are open down here at the bottom. Yeah. So you do get a little bit of exposed magazine and stuff with your rounds and whatnot. But what's most important, the thing I do like insanely about this that I hope catches on, much like RMRs and uh, dot sights on pistols, I hope this half inch laser cut pattern catches on. Reason being, this uh, freaking tier belt here, gun, yeah, tier gunfighter belt, has those little half inch slots for mounting things. And normally when you mount things with the inch molly and stuff like this uh, dump pouch over here, you got that whole half inch of just a uh, free space that pushes it up and whatnot and doesn't give it a very clean seal. Whereas with this, you can weave it in very, very cleanly and you have your half inch interval. So if I want to move these magazine up pouches up a little bit higher or lower or anything, it is completely doable. And they do use those classic little, uh, what's it, those little push tabs that I saw I get from, uh, I got familiar with them from Blue Force Gear, but here they are with Haley as well. This one also has some uh, elastic at the bottom because that's how the insert sits in there. You can kind of see it right there. So if I wanted, if the insert got cracked or something crazy happened, I can pop that open, take the insert out, reinstall the bungee and use it as sort of a standard magazine pouch. So you can see the elastic does go pretty hard when it's retaining mags because when you pop this guy out, it calms down a lot. You can see inside there, decent little stuff. So it inserts nice with a click. Yeah, it does have a good chunk of force to get it free. It's not just going to fall out on its own and do crazy stuff like that. Pistol mags also use crazy elastic. They also have the tabs here and the little tabs in the back, and that's where you would attach your bungee there if you so desire to use one. Generally, for the pistol mag pouches, we're trying to be super high speed. And I generally do not think these are going to uh, run away if you're, like, crawling through the woods and stuff, but if you need that extra security, if you're jumping out of a perfectly functional plane, or a helicopter, or any of that sort of a uh, shindig, then uh, the tabs would definitely help. But it would be not, I think um, the only, I'd probably mod it just to have a little buckle in there just so you can uh, push the buckle out and move that free and out of the way so you have that quick access instead of just sliding it off to the side so you can re-index easier. But that's just me and just my insane ideas. 
So yeah, we've modified the gun belt significantly. The reason being is up here you have this reinforcement tack, and that is what the Safari Land 71 Tac 1 could not overcome. It would push them back to where this rifle mag pouch is now, that would get pushed back farther, so on and so forth. So being able to mount these up a little bit further makes me happy. They're out of the way, and uh, yeah, I have cool extra space on my belt now, so you take the belt, suck in the gut, move that down there. So we do have the pistol mag pouches farther forward, so I can still get my little squat and stuff. They'll dig in a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And it goes a long way as far as getting things done. So you got the rifle, pop, pop, pop. Easy peasy. That quick little forceful pull, and you get your mag free. The pistol mags are the shows you easy index. So that's all I really got for the video. These come in all sorts of cool, crazy, wonky colors for you cool kids out there that don't want to all wear coyote brown all the time. <laughs> and yeah, so. I thought the, uh, I, I did think with the elastic and stuff, every time you look at these uh, Haley rifle mag pouches, they look like they're a bit uh, fatter than they truly are, but it's really not that big of an issue. And I really like the uh, slick nature on the outsides, because that reduces the number of things they're going to catch and abraze and cause all sorts of damage and stuff to it. So, cool stuff. Good job, Haley Strategic. Bravo, Zulu. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get out to a little uh, shooting range so I can actually give these a little run under the uh, timer and stuff. and see how well they do, which I'm going to assume is going to be pretty all right. So that's all I got for you guys for this video. Pretty short, simple, to the point, magazine pouches. Out of all the ones I've tried, from the Safari Line, the S-Tac, um, with BDS mag pouches for a while, all sorts of craziness. So far, this is what I'm liking the best for the belt line. So cheers, stay shoulder If you have any questions, um, feel free to send them my way. Actually, did I? Let me cover one last thing before we go too far. So we bought this open, I want to show you guys the insert, it does work almost exactly the same as the D3 CRM. So you got the little nubs on the side there, that holds everything in place, nubs on the outside there, holds everything in place, that's how you get the rifle in there, the rifle mag in there, so. I like that it comes in brown too, that makes me really happy. The grey was, uh, well, kind of grey. The brown's cool, but yeah, so when you remove that out, it's not like held into the magazine pouch itself with the elastic or not the elastic, the uh, Velcro like S-Tag does. The Velcro just holds the thing shut. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay Um We'll catch you all in the next video. And if you're feeling really cool, you can uh, wear your battle belt like this. It's going to be all the trend next year. You'll see. Cheers, everyone. Stay Shell Peace.